Just a few days after Tesla CEO Elon Musk released Tesla's full self-driving beta software, the self-driving competitor Cruise posted a video demo of their own. Cruise, which is owned by General Motors, has been working on self-driving vehicles since 2013, when the company was founded by Kyle Vogt and Dan Kahn. Kyle Vogt is the chief technology officer of Cruise, and he shared this demo with OpenAI co-founder Sam Altman. Funny enough, Sam Altman actually co-founded OpenAI with Elon Musk. However, Elon has since distanced himself from the artificial intelligence company after their two companies were competing for talent. Cruise shows a 75-minute, never-before-seen video of their vehicle software, autonomously driving through the streets of San Francisco. It appears as though they are trying to piggyback on Tesla's social media presence with the hype around full self-driving. In the Cruise video, Kyle Vogt acknowledges that because the video is sped up by a factor of five times, some parts look better than they actually would in real life, as well as some parts may look worse. I think a shorter drive with raw footage would have been more credible. The Cruise automation system is based heavily on LiDAR, as Vogt says, but does some things purely with the camera. While LiDAR paints a highly accurate picture of the world, it misses certain very valuable feature attributes such as color and texture. Vogt compares this to seeing a blob on the road and trying to decipher what that is. Cameras are, of course, a necessity for reading signs, seeing traffic lights, seeing the lines of the road, and many other visual cues that LiDAR simply is not designed to observe. LiDAR is good in some instances, where a camera may have low light, but it is also important to consider that adding LiDAR to a vehicle is extremely expensive and can prevent the company from expanding this feature to all GM vehicles due to the price. In Tesla's most recent conference call, one analyst asked Elon Musk if LiDAR was free, would he use it? And Elon thought for a second and said, probably not. Once Tesla has solved for vision, LiDAR is pointless, according to Elon Musk. In the video that Cruz posted, it is important to note what is happening behind the scenes and to compare this to the Tesla full self-driving. In addition to LiDAR, Cruise maps specific areas with high definition maps, outlining the main drivable paths that the vehicle can take. This paradigm works well for small geographic areas, but can impede Cruise's attempt to expand the feature around the world. Along the same lines, HD Maps requires an internet connection to continue to get the most updated real-time maps, as the world around us changes daily. At a few points in the video, it is not obvious from the looks of it, but Kyle Vogt explains that in some instances, a remote assistant person needs to take over and plot a route for the vehicle. This is actually similar to having someone in the vehicle who needs to intervene or help out. While the cruise demo is impressive, Tesla's FSD beta release is seen taking turns, going through roundabouts, and navigating around parking lots. Tesla's solution uses camera vision only and does not use LiDAR or high definition maps, allowing it to function anywhere in the world without internet connection. This has the simple advantage of allowing Tesla to scale worldwide. While its competitors are limited to expensive hardware and to specific geographic areas that either don't change very much or have a reliable cellular connection. Thank you for watching. I need you to do me a favor and click the like button, subscribe and watch my other videos. I would be very grateful for that. Let me know in the comments what you thought and what other topics you'd like to see. Thanks.